Welcome back everyone, this is Sean Thomas with Ark Survival Evolves Dino Dossiers. This is a non-yet released dinosaur. Uh, it's December 2015 to give you a, a time frame of mind. So the Thylacolio. The Thylacolio is going to be your ninja, your your rogue of Ark Survival Evolved. So it, it doesn't actually have a stealth, but take a look at the picture to the right. You see it clinging to the tree up there. You can mount this cat-like creature and scale trees you can hang out, wait for tribe members, opposing tribes to wander by and then pounce on them. Not only can you hide in trees and jump down and attack, I mean you they can knock the tree that you're on, you can just go to the next tree, the next tree, the next tree. But uh yeah, so you can hide out in the trees, you can ambush players. Uh you also can immobilize some of the smaller creatures that are out there. So if they're on a raptor uh, or if they're on, I don't know, uh, Parasaur, I'm not sure if they're going to get anything bigger than that, like as far as a trike, if you'd be able to immobilize that, we'll have to wait and see. But just some theory crafting. If you're looking to uh, harass players and, and be a little uh, troll, this is your this is your cat. This is the one you want. You want to hang out in the trees and, and, and populate areas where players normally run around and just harass the heck out of everybody. Alright, so taking a look at them in the wild, we'll glean a little bit more from the uh, the dossier to see how else we can use these in our theory crafting. So in the wild, the Thylacolio is a large, powerful marsupial that can often be found hunting around trees. Its long claws and semi-opposable digits make it an apt climber, a quality that Thylacolio uses it to its advantage while hunting. It clambers up trees and waits to ambush passing prey by pouncing upon them when something that large jumps onto a target, it becomes stunned and doesn't stand much chance. So how about that? Not only do you, <laughs> do you surprise attack them, but if you manage to land gracefully on top of your target, you will stun it. And then uh, Thylosio's most notable fighting quality is its powerful jaws. Once it bites into its prey, it locks to, uh, its jaws down on it in an iron strength grip that can hold most smaller creatures in place. So you get a, a stun, a root, perhaps a slow on bigger creatures, Thycolio then goes on to savage its prey with its sharp claws. If it needs to escape a fight, Thycolio uses its muscular hind legs to jump back to safety among the trees. All right. So it sounds like as soon as you start attacking, you will either lock it down or slow it. And if you pounce and land upon it, you're going to stun whatever it is. So that'll give you the chance you need to to start your attack. If it, the prey is a, a bit too more, you know, too too challenging for you to handle, you can, I believe, right mouse click, which would jump you backwards and you can go clambering off hiding among the trees again. Alright, so this is an excellent hit and run tactic for any of those solo, pl solo players on uh, hostile tribe areas. You want to harass players, knock them out, take their goodies, and then retreat back into the woods. This is the beast of burden for you. Alright, so looking at the domesticated Thycolio is a moderately strong mount and its ability to climb trees and jump long distances makes it useful for travelers such that developing tribes often tame it. Small raiding parties particularly favor Thycolia as it is well suited to ambushes and unfair fights. So if there's any players that have trees near their base, you can climb under the tree, leap into their base. You might even be able to straight up just leap into their base. And if you pounce on top of some of their tames in there, uh, depending on how many members of your tribe are, are coming in with these Thycolio, you could potentially wipe out a tribe just using these Thycolio, if, depending on the tech level they're at. Uh, again, you would probably need uh, something to break through the stone, metal tools, C4, or other explosives, or if they do have metal, then you would definitely need that C4. So, just uh, some food for thought, the Thiacolio. It's a very exciting uh, rogue-like dino beast here. Yeah, so uh, definitely looking forward to its release. We're here in December 2015. Not sure when this will be coming out, but hopefully pretty soon. Uh, if you found this dossier and uh, theory crafting useful, please mash that like button. Please subscribe. It's free to do these things, and it helps me out greatly. And leave comments. I'll be happy to respond to you. This is the Thiacolio. My name is Sean Thomas. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.